Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to simplify trig expressions. There is no standard step-by-step -step solution to simplify trig expressions, since there are so many ways to solve them depending on the trig expression. I'll go over a list of tips and methods to simplify trig expressions. First, look over trig identities. This will make everything go faster, since you might be using them to simplify. Next, simplifying trig expressions requires trial and error. If one method doesn't work, try another one. Now I'll go over some methods. First one, rewrite all trig functions in the expression in terms of sine and cosine. Next one, if there are fractions in the expression, combine them by making a common denominator. Next one, use algebraic manipulation. Next one, separate one function into two functions if possible. Next one, factor if you can. And last one, use u substitution for trig polynomials. Now let's see some examples of simplifying trig expressions. First example, we have tangent of x over secant of x. First, rewrite all trig functions in terms of sine and cosine. Remember that tangent of x equals sine of x over cosine of x, and secant of x equals 1 over cosine of x. Next, we simplify this fraction using this identity to help. We get sine of x times cosine of x over cosine of x times 1. We can simplify this more to be sine of x times cosine of x over cosine of x. Next, we simplify by canceling out the cosine of x in the numerator and the denominator and get sine of x, which is our answer. First example, we have cosecant of x minus sine of x over cosecant of x. First, we will break the function into two functions. So this equals cosecant of x over cosecant of x minus sine of x over cosecant of x. Next, we simplify cosecant of x over cosecant of x and rewrite cosecant of x in terms of sine. So cosecant of x over cosecant of x equals 1 and cosecant of x equals 1 over sine of x. So we get this. Next, we simplify, and we get 1 minus sine squared of x. Next, we use this identity. So we get cosine of x squared, which is our answer. Last example, we have tangent of x to the fourth plus 2 tangent of x squared plus 1. Since this is a trig polynomial, we can try to use u substitution. We let u equal tangent of x squared, and we plug this in, and we get u squared plus 2u plus 1. Next, we can factor, and we get that this quadratic equals u plus 1 times u plus 1, which is u plus 1 squared. Next, we sub tangent of x squared back in. Now we can use this identity. So we get secant of x squared squared, which simplifies to secant of x to the fourth, which is our answer. Simplifying trig expressions can be difficult since there are so many ways to simplify trig expressions, and it involves a lot of trial and error. So don't get frustrated if you don't get it at first. The more you practice, the better you'll get. For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.